Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in our What's in a Name series is Yahweh Shalom, part one, failure at the edge of breakthrough. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Judges chapter 6 and verse 24. So Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, the Lord is peace. To this day, it is still in Ophrah of the Abiez rites. Today we begin to discuss another name of God, Yahweh Shalom. This name of God means the Lord is peace. True peace is something every human being needs, but very few truly have. In the next few episodes, we'll be looking at the circumstances that led to the revelation of this name of God. In the verses immediately preceding our anchor scripture, the children of Israel had done evil in the sight of God. And the Bible says in Judges chapter 6 and verse 1, that because of this evil, God gave them over to their oppressors. The way the Israelites were oppressed may be instructive to someone this morning. The Bible says that they came out on good soil, sowed their seeds, but when it was time for a harvest, the Midianites came up and took the harvest. So these guys did everything right. They followed the principles of sowing and reaping. They gave, they prayed, they showed kindness to people. They applied for those jobs. They worked hard for the promotion. They studied very hard, yet there was no result. They did the work, but the enemy had set up a contrary system to circumvent their success. The enemy made sure that they experienced failure at the point where they should have encountered breakthrough. The Bible says in verse 6, as a result of this demonic system of oppression, Israel became greatly impoverished. The enemy hasn't stopped operating this way. There are people who do everything right and never get results. They read extensively and prepare for exams, yet they still fail. They even teach other people, but they fail. I had a friend who was so good on his job. His bosses loved him. He was so reliable. Everyone wanted to work with him. Yet every time there was a promotion, his name was omitted. I know people who have sowed seeds and given and given, yet they remain in lack and live lives devoid of favor. The point I seek to pass is this. The Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. More like we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. If you are consistently experiencing failure where there should be breakthrough, then this morning I urge you to cry out to Yahweh Shalom. As we will see in the coming episodes, he brought the evil system to an end for the Israelites. He will do the same for you. If the Israelites had not cried out, there wouldn't have been an intervention. So this morning I urge you, if there are contrary patterns in your life, cry out to Yahweh Shalom and watch things change. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word today. Lord, please today we stand in the gap for as many who are oppressed by the enemy and are experiencing failure rather than breakthrough. We cry to you today and we decree an end to every evil work in the lives of these listening. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.